Welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. John, playing in Philadelphia, where you grew up, where your father, John Sr., was a Pro Bowl player, does playing in Philly, with all that considered, was that a big deal? Yeah, it was. It was amazing, especially around this time of year, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, just really about family and coming home to Philadelphia. And the game was on my dad's birthday as well. And uh, just a lot of memories flooding back. I remember going to, you know, seven, eight home games a year, uh, sitting up watching my dad and being in the locker room, watching his teammates. And they had the Eagles Hall of Fame induction and a bunch of his teammates were back and I got to see them. And, they all remember me from when I was a little kid running around the locker room. So it really was a great atmosphere and uh, I love coming back to Philadelphia. Speaking of your dad, who is now the Vice President of Policy and Rules Administration for the NFL and who earlier this season sent you an official letter saying you are fined. Did you ever decide what to do with that letter and how did that all turn out? Uh, I haven't decided what I was going to do with the letter yet, but I do still have it. Uh, it's, it's in my uh, nightstand drawer. Uh, probably going to give it to my mom, let, let her decide what she wants to do with it. Um, it was funny, and you know, hopefully I don't get another one. I, guess I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that. <laughs> Against Philadelphia, A.J. Dillon's 20-yard touchdown run, he had a nice block on it. And afterwards, you seemed exceptionally excited. You were celebrating a lot. You went down by the end zone and stuff like that. What was the special meaning or was there a special meaning for that play? First of all, it was a great run. Um, AJ really found, uh, you know, he pressed his aiming point and cut it back. And uh, I think that's one of the best runs we've had all year. And that felt really good. And, and then, um, you know, just in the moment, we, we really needed it as an offense. We were down uh, 13 points at that point in the first quarter. Already, I think, two turnovers and it was tough. And again, that first touchdown, uh, being down there in the end zone, I, I know the Eagles fans uh, didn't seem to care too much about it and I was just eating it up and it gave me more energy. It, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. John, the whole run-pass option thing, you guys do a lot of it. Now, a lot of times it's going to be a pass, but you're not aware of that, so you're just doing your run block, right? Yeah, uh, that's the thing playing O-line. You, you never really know what's going on. You can't see how, what Aaron sees when he's looking at the linebackers and uh, the defensive backs. And uh, you know that it's run when you feel the defenders laying into you and you can tell it's fast when you see them look away from you and you feel them light up a little bit. There's also a fine line between when you're kind of uncovered at guard and not going downfield mm -hmm. for an, uh, an eligible receiver downfield. So it is, it is a little hairy. John, in the Washington game, you made the move from starting left guard to starting right guard. Has it been a big adjustment? I think it was. Um, the first two games, I think recently, these last few games, I feel like I've just kind of always been on the right side. But those first two games, trying to make the switch over there, especially when I really haven't in my entire career really played on the right side. and. Uh, feel a lot more comfortable now. It's a lot different. Um, I'd say it's kind of like somebody that likes eating steak. They switch, you know, what side they put the knife in their fork and that's kind of how it feels. Going to the other side when you're so used to playing the other side. The whole Packer Bear thing, are you really into it personally or is that more for the fans? How do you feel about it? Yeah, I, I really got into it um, my, my rookie year. I remember it was about November in the season. I think we had a Sunday nighter in 2020 against the Bears. And I went in around the second quarter, played the rest of the game, and I really got a sense for the rivalry and how fun it is. And um, I think I think we beat them by you know, a fair amount. I think it was around 17, 20, 27 points. And on the QB nil, I get knocked over. And I just knew right then and there that I just, Never, never going to really like the Bears. It's a fun rivalry, and I always look forward to playing them. It was so fun playing that game Sunday night, week two, and I can't wait to go out there and play them in Chicago.